Hello, you fellow musicians and gamers out there. This is Kleiner Gamer here, and I am here with another new project. And because you've inspired me to do The Simpsons Road Rage again, I've decided to take it upon myself to choose another project to redo, and it is none other than this game, which is Destruction Derby 1. Now, you may be asking, why are you replaying this? Well, or playing this for that matter, it's because back on my channel when I first did commentary, I actually first did commentary on this game, Destruction Derby, believe it or not. Um, like, before, I, before that I did walkthroughs without any commentary. So, this is the game I've chosen to come back to because this was, this was the first game I ever did commentary for. And I'll still remember the fond memories of it, but I felt it was about time I came back to this and redid it because, honestly, the quality of the videos back then was terrible. And... The commentary was pretty awful as well. I mean, to be fair, I mean, I really... I'm not going to delete it. I'm going to keep the videos because that's what makes it unique. But I felt I should do a Let's Replay of this... Well, I should do a Let's Replay of this game because it's a fresh take on it. With better quality. Far better quality. And uh, a bit more organisation when it comes to this, uh, this project. So, what I'm planning to do with this project is... Uh, as soon as we get now, fun fact here is you can select one PlayStation, and the other option you can use a link cable on this. Back then, the multiplayer option for this was you could use link cables on this, which I thought was pretty clever. But since I don't have a link cable, I'll just be selecting the PS1. But it's technically a PS3 I'm playing, as you can see from the recording I'm doing this on. So, what I'm going to be doing first is I'm going to be going through Wrecking Racing mode fully, and afterwards, I'm going to show off stock car racing for only one season then it'll be the same with the Destruction Derby mode to see how I get on with that and then afterwards I'll do Total Destruction on Destruction Derby afterwards. So let's start with Wrecking Racing mode and then we're going through the Championship mode of course. So let's enter my name and I'm going to be picking my YouTube name as I've done before although I didn't call myself Clarinet. I think did I call myself Clarinet in the original commentary I did? I'm not sure if I did. Oh and you probably know this. The music's sort of jumping a little bit. I think it's because I'm playing this on the PS3. I think it's because of the issues with it. I thought it was the disc, but I think it's the PS3 that's having issues with the music. So that's the backwards compatibility for you when it comes to the PS3. So I don't know if the PS5 will have that much issues with the PS4 backwards compatibility. I'm hoping it won't. And if the rumors are true, hopefully we get PS5 backwards compatibility with all generations. So that would be legendary, but I'm not going to get my hopes up too high, but anyway, so choose your car, so we got the rookie car, which is like this, or we got the amateur car, the Grim Reaper, and yes, this game is very outdated when it comes to a driving game, but I still enjoy it to this day, and you'll see why it's outdated when I get into the championship, but this is the Grim Reaper car, looks pretty cool, right, but I've got a car that, that's even cooler than that one, which is this, the Pro Smoothie. And this is the car I plan on using. It's the fastest car, which means it's the most challenging car to use. And considering I'm quite, not mean to brag, but I am really, really good at this game. And I say that now, and I'm probably going to end up failing an awful lot in this championship mode. And I say that I'm very good at this game, and I fail a lot. I always seem to jinx myself an awful lot. But yeah, I'm picking the pro car for the championship mode on this. And I'll use the other cars to show off the other Destruction Derby modes for one season, but I'm going through the full Championship mode on Wreck and Racing mode, which involves five divisions, five seasons, or depending on how you progress, it might be six or seven, or if you lose in the first division, which is this one, then it's immediately game over for you. <laughs> so anyway, the first race is the Speedway. And we got, yep. And there's the commentator saying, the first race of the season. So let's go. Now, to get points in this, you can either finish in first place and yet... Yeah, I know, they slow me down. Now, you could do that. And yes, you can spin them at a 360 degree angle and get 10 points for it. If you hit them at a 90 degree angle, then you'll get 2 points. But if you... If you end up uh, spinning them out at a 480 degree, or not 480, 180 degree angle, then you'll get 4 points. And if you hit the first place car right here, I'm wanting to demonstrate this, if this car will let me. 
like so. Oh, okay, maybe not. It did not demonstrate successfully. I will try that again. And once I catch up to him. I don't know if I got any free points for that. No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, you could probably hear the music track sort of leap, leap, leaping a little bit. And I didn't manage to get any points off him. Oh, well, I'll demonstrate in the next race anyway. But if you do manage to finish in first place, you'll get 10 points. And if you finish second, you get six, and third, you get four points. But to get race points in Wrecking Racing mode, you just have to hit the uh, opponent's cars as much as you can, or spin them out in this case, in this game. The Wrecking games like this have evolved so much from these days. But I still enjoy this game, despite it being the first game that I've... one of the first games i played on the PlayStation 1. That's why I respect it very much, because it's the first game I ever played. Oh, now th there was a good opportunity right there, and I didn't get any points from that. Now, right there, 90 degree angle right there, and I sent that guy laughing, or the girl laughing, whoever it is that's driving that car, I can't not remember. Uh, but yeah, I sent that car in a 90 degree angle, hit them right into the wall, and then that's two points. And I have no idea how I'm doing in terms of points, so it'll tell me at the end of the race uh, how well I've done. Oh crap. Oh will I indeed? I'm sure I will buddy, I'm sure I will regret that. Obvious Scottish accent is obvious. This game was like, the commentary for this is like, uh, is British and um, he does provide some English, uh, sorry, the English and Scottish voices for certain drivers, which is kind of weird considering this is American-ness. Oh wow, were those two different drivers I hit there with the same voice? That's kind of creepy. <laughs> are they sure they're not clones? Or nah, they're not clones. They can be clones. Alright, final lap. Now, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. The the car, as you can see, you've got to be careful to not make sure, make sure it doesn't get in the red gauge. If it goes red at the top right corner, then your car will be in danger of being wrecked. And if you wreck your car, then the race is over. But anyway, that was the first race, and I think that went pretty well. We'll see how I did. Did I get... Oh, I managed to finish first place in the table overall with the amount of points I have. So I got 28 points. Who finished second? Oh, the Doctor finished 12th. I don't know what he's doing here. He should be time-travelling instead of racing, but... No, wait, no, that's a different Doctor. Uh, Barmy Army. No idea who this guy is. Same amount of points as me. We all finished with 28 points. Did you finish with 28 points as well? There better not be a line of 28 points each. Okay, good. I was beginning to get a bit worried there. But yeah, so the league is as follows. So this is the top division. We're not in this one, unfortunately. Not yet, anyway. We are in Division 5, which is all the way at the back. Which is right here. So we're first place in our division with 28 points. The General second with 8 points, Trashman with 4 points, and the Bouncer on no points whatsoever. <laughs> so, we're uh, getting quite a good start on this, uh, this season, if you ask me. Quite a strong start. Now, this next track, the crossover, is personally my favourite track in the game when it comes to wrecking racing. But on stock car racing, I absolutely hate this track because it's so easy to wreck a car in this if you're not careful. So, here we go. Now, I'm going to try and demonstrate what happens if you hit the car in first place. I don't know if I'm going to be able to manage it this race, but we'll find out. Beginner's luck? Well, you ran right into me, so I span you out technically, so that's not beginner's luck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, right. I ended up uh, losing my position, so yeah, I'm going to go quite a bit down there. I went down the ninth place, but that did... Oh, wow. I went all the way down to 14th. Holy crap. Oh, my God. My left side is pretty much knackered. You said that already, commentator, and I already acknowledge that. Mr. Commentator, I'll be the one doing commenting here, not you. So I'm down in 15th place. Can I make a comeback here, or will I fail? We'll see what happens. Oh, wow, that, sh that arguably should have been 10 points, because I, I technically spanned him at 360 degrees. You saw that. Great, now my left side is about to be wrecked. Pretty much what happens is if that goes black, then I will not be able to, to 
then the car will automatically steer to the left without my without my consent. So I'll have to steer to the right at all times to avoid that from happening. That's what I mean by like it's so easy to wreck a car in this. Oh wow, okay. I'm surprised at it. I don't know what on earth you just called me. I don't know what you, whether you said run or whatever word you said. I'm guessing you said you little run. Well, too bad. You ran right into me. So, you have no right to be calling me that. You should be calling yourself a little run. Alright, so I'm heading up to 6th place. Okay, so we're making a bit of a good comeback. Oh, wow. I think I hit the first place driver. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, so there goes my left side. So, pretty much what will happen is that the car will vent off to the left. Automatically. See, I'm holding X right now. And it's automatically steering to the left. So, there's nothing I can do about that. And the top of my car is actually not looking good right now. Oh, someone's wrecked their car, so there's 19 drivers left. But yeah, the top left of my car is red, so I'm not... Oh no! How the hell have I not wrecked my car yet? That was a huge hit right there. Okay, I got lucky with that. Okay. I'm sort of doing well in this, hopefully. How have I? How am I not smoking yet? Right, now I am. I was about to say, what the hell is going on? Is my car that really that strong? I know in the pro car, but that's ridiculous. Oh no, damn it. There goes my car. Well, I got knocked out, but I got 22 points. I didn't do too badly, but I could have done a lot better, to be fair. So where am I in the... Oh yeah, if I wreck my car, this is the table where I am and oh god, I'm doing pretty badly. I'm pretty much near the bottom. Okay, right, so that's the... that's a finished. Right, so where did I finish? I finished 15th. But what position did I finish in? 17th with 22 points. That was pretty bad. Now, Trashman was in my division. How many points did he get? Finished last place with 14 points. Right, okay. I'm dreading to think where the, the bouncer and the general. Right, the general is 19th with 32 points. Okay. What about the bouncer? He finished first, didn't he? How many points? 36. Okay. I should still be in a comfortable lead, but I'll check the divisions anyway just to make sure. Alright then, so... Oh yeah, I'm still in the lead with 50 points. Okay, so I'm not doing too badly, but I've got to be careful because the general's creeping up behind me with uh, 40 points. So I've got to be careful with that. Alright then, let's head to the next race, which is Ocean Drive. I think I remember first playing this game when I actually first played the PS1, actually. This is one of the first games I ever played alongside uh, Tekken 2 and uh, Crash Bandicoot 1. Alright then, so, Ocean Drive. Now, I do like the music track for this, although unfortunately on the... Right, I'm gonna let... Come on, please overtake me. I insist. Please, after you. Thank you very much. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate what happens if you hit the first place car driver here. Now, normally I would get two points for that, but because he was in first place, I got double them in a points. So I got four points there for that, when I normally would have gotten two. But the gameplay for this has definitely aged, compared to quite a lot of racers these days. The, from what I understood, the development behind this game was to intend, was to make sure that the cars would be compacted in a small area, so wreckage would be very easily done. And I could see why, considering I hit that guy right there. If this was a wider track, it would have been a lot harder to hit them. But Destruction Derby 2 vastly improved on this. Even though I personally prefer Destruction Derby 1 over the second one, there are some parts of 2 that I do like over the uh, the first one. Uh, which I'll get to when I do a Let's Replay Destruction Derby 2, probably after this. Okay, I guess I spun him around twice. I think I did actually. Or her, should I say. That's a she in that car, not, not a he. Which is the beast. Ok, 
Okay, I need a careful ERA. There we are. Now this track, thankfully, isn't too bad for wrecking a car then, compared to the last one. Although, it, if you're not careful, you can still wreck a car. I think when I first I actually did the commentary for this, I think I picked the rookie car for this, which was probably a bad bad idea because it would have made that quite boring. Okay, I'm not doing too well right now. In terms of my car on the top right, I need to keep an eye on that. Oh god! Right, okay. I nearly wrecked my car yet again on that. Wow, that was quite... Oh wow, I hit him again. <laughs> 32 points. Okay, that definitely... That, I definitely redeemed myself after that. After the, that average performance in the crossover. Now if I manage to finish first here, I'll get a really good whopping 42 points. I'm sure I will. I'm sure I'll finish first. And we're nearly there. And that's it. The Ocean Drive is finished. And I have finished with a really good 42 points. So I should be first place in the table here. If I'm not, then I'll be shocked. Yeah, I thought so. Right. 42 points. Okay, I am pretty happy with that. Wonder where everyone else in my division finished. Okay, so the general finished 17th with how many points? Only two points. Trash members immediately afterwards with how many? Two points as well. Wow, they did not do very well at all. Oh, but the bouncer. Oh, he finished quite a bit actually, high on the table. How many points? 18. Okay, not too bad for the bouncer, I guess. I, I honestly thought he would have finished... Uh, well in the bottom there but you know what I think I'm going to do guys I'm going to end it off right here but let me just check the the league first to see where everybody's at so I'm first place with 92 points Bouncer has got 54 Jenna with 42 points and Trashman on 20 points okay then so I'm in a pretty comfortable lead right now so I think I'm going to end it right here guys, so I will finish off the rest of Division 5 in Part 2 of Let's Replay Destruction Derby 1, so, oh, sorry, Destruction Derby 2 should I say, not Part 1, this is Part 1, Part 2 will be next, duh, anyway, so thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you all enjoyed the first part of Let's Replay Destruction Derby, please feel free to like the video if you enjoyed it, comment down below as well for your thoughts, and if you wish to see more videos of this game, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. That'd be greatly appreciated. Till then, guys, hope you all have a great day or night, wherever you are, and I shall see you later when I come back with part two of Let's Replay Destruction Derby. Till then, goodbye.